Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be comparing the Economy Plus to Ultimate Trading add-on. So uh, I've already done a review of Economy Plus. I did that on the like that went up on October sixteenth. Um, and yeah, it was a pretty decent add-on. Uh, my main problem was that you can like trade the cash currency for like diamonds or stuff. Uh, Anyway, if you want to, to know more about that, go watch that video. But I have uh, joined the Discord uh, since that video, and uh, I have been talking with the dev, the devs of the add-on. Um, they, I gave them some of my feedback. They was like, "Oh yeah, uh, we'll definitely like add a way for you to trade in the cash for diamonds and stuff because it'll be like better for single player, and it also give and it, you know, and I, ba and I basically said because right now the uh, money in it is basically the cash is basically as valuable as an NFT, which it which basically means it has no inherent value. It's a, the only value is what people are willing to pay for it. What are you doing? Anyway, um, so that will uh, come out in an update, but I don't know when that update will be or anything about that. All I know is that they and they're also like adding a. Uh, Wallet with like a uh, with like a mechanic I suggested of like uh, if you die you lose some money uh, anyway uh, but yeah uh, I'll get into that when that update actually does come out and all of this is public knowledge I'm not like sharing anything I shouldn't be this is all in the public Discord that uh, which you can go check out uh, but yeah let's let's take a look at uh, this one. So, uh, welcome to, oh, it, it didn't load my username. Yeah, so sometimes it just doesn't load my username, goes Pokemon Master and just calls me Banjo, Kazooie, Ban. I don't know why, the first time that it did, it did that to me, it scared me. Like, I was like, oh, did my account get hacked? And they cha like changed the name and then sold it off or something. I was, but now it just didn't load my profile properly. And then being attracted by this one. Yeah, there you go. You love your tum tum Anyway, welcome to the ultimate trading add-on. Oh, it would help if you didn't kick the keyboard. Wait, wait, keyboard, really. Uh, let me, hold on. Right, so, enhance your trading go with, af with a fair method and fresh fetus. A fair, with... I don't know what that word means. That's a new word to me. Uh, what's new? This add-on introduced a new currency and the de fancy mechanics that uh, change the game. Ready to dive in the click below to start it. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Sneezy daddy. Anyway. Uh, ready to dive in, click below to start exploring. Enjoy the add-on, leave a review. Information. <laughs> Uh, news. Welcome to the information page. Here you can find all the information you need to get started with the add-on. Crafting shops. All the shops can be crafted using the crafting table. You can also find all the information about each shop by clicking on the there button in the main menu. Settings. Adjust the settings of the add-on using the toolbox item. Uh, also, if you wish players to not have this item, you can uh, clear it off them if your world has uh, cheats activated. Yeah, that's a bit of a, uh, a, whatchamacallit, that's a bit of a pet, like, uh, so, uh, th this is a bit difficult to, to really explain, but, uh, as I've been told by add-on developer, uh, you... The add-on add developers cannot check to see whether a player is opt or not. So when, but so, but because of that, usually when they make a item like this that changes like settings and stuff, uh, they usually make it so they can only be, you know, server wide. They usually make it so they can only be accessed in creative mode, and that's what they should have done here. They should have just made it so you get you can only get the item in creative mode, and that you can only use it in creative mode. Um, cause, because you can't, 
It's just like have a command block going all the time, just constantly clearing that specific item out of someone's inventory because we don't have like uh, the spawn chunks like in Java edition where the, those chunks are always loaded. So you could just put a command block in there and it would, and it, uh, would uh, always uh, work. But it's not the end of the world. It's just part, if, if you have that one player that's, Constantly just want messing with the settings and it's going to get annoying and you can't really track it. Is. So I think it would just be better if they just changed it so that you can only use it in creative mode and you can only get it from creative mode. Uh, but yeah, and they have a Discord. I'll probably be checking that out after this. I, I do like to join the Discords of like add-ons that I've reviewed. So yeah, if you see me review an add-on and it has a Discord, there's a good chance I'm in their Discord. Uh, but yeah, let me go into game mode zero. And I have my own Discord in the description, and I even have like a uh, Discord member as well. Anyway, uh, so tool. So the toolbox is two shop wrenches, a chest, a book, and the five copper ingots. Shop. And to make the shop wrench, it's just uh, three, four copper ingots. So uh, let me go into game mode one and I'll get the toolbox. And we can check out the settings. <laughs> so welcome to this menu. Here you can adjust settings of the add modules, enable or disable the modules, uh, limitations, set the limits of the add on. I think I said it. So modules, they have personal shops and auction houses, so you can disable them if you want. You have limitations, so maximum world personal shops. So this will set the maximum like uh, personal shops people can make. Uh, so that, I don't think this is pay play, I think this will be like as a collective, so like every player, so you might, so yeah. Uh, shop limit. Pay oh, there's a pay play one, so you can be like, oh, everyone can only have like 10, uh, 16, or whatever shops. And then say for auction limit. But yeah, that's cool. I can change them. Right, so there's the personal shop. Uh, personal shops let to players set up their own store, allowing uh, secure and safe item trades with others. How to use this? Craft a personal shop and place it down. You'll need a uh, shop wrench to manage the shop. Craft the shop wrench. Craft, <laughs> excuse me. Hold the wrench and interact with the sh <laughs> shop to access the uh, management menu. Adding items have the item you want to sell in your inventory, along with an item you want in return. Open the management menu and select add item, choose the item to trade and set the qu quantities. You can add a, oh, excuse me, a description that's visible to, oh, why do I have hiccups? Uh, value to the buyers. This item is now ready for others to, oh, I got that, purchase. You can remove and buy and, change. So. Uh, I'm in survival, so shh. So you have the personal shop. Four books, a coin, chest, and three oak slabs. So coin is four gold ingots, four gold nuggets, and an emerald to get two. Okay, I think this is starting to feel a bit like the... Uh, Oh, anyway, shop. So let me get to game mode one. <laughs> blah, blah. So. <laughs> okay, apparently X so it doesn't want to work. I don't know why. Um. Uh, excuse me. Okay, why is my... There. There we go. Why did that stop working? 
Yeah. Oh, well, I want to cook <coughs> food. <coughs> anyway. Yeah, that's crops. Well, I'll just do take <coughs> some golden carrots. And let's say a diamond. So you put this down. So then, yeah, so it's your personal shop, interact, manage items, add item, golden carrot. Uh, there is a character. What? Why do you shop? So, uh, you can go up to 64. Go oh. and carrot shop. And <laughs> carrots 64 for. Um, 64 <coughs> and diamond submit as we know you can now add more of the items <coughs> how do you add more of the items to the shop manage items Manage <coughs> stock, yield and carrot, add stock. There you, <coughs> there you go. And then now someone can come in and buy those golden carrots for one diamond. And you can see the profits there. So, it's all the So, yeah. <laughs> uh, auction house. Uh, auction house, that's a very sad word. Hmm. Yeah, so, so far, this is basically the seam. Oh. So, auction house is two books, two good coins, a chest, a bookshelf, and three slabs. Yeah. And you, um, economy plus also I'd like, uh, the, watch my, oh, I, the, I put my food, go. uh, had the, uh, cash, uh, I'd like, uh, the whole, like, ATMs and stuff, that was pretty cool, and uh, this is lacking ATMs. <laughs> So yeah, this is basically just like, you put an item in there, set a time limit, and it, uh, people would like, uh, bid on like an item, and then when the time run, runs out, the highest bidder wins. Seats. There's, uh, uh, coins, auction houses, personal shop. Shop wrench, toolbox, and starter box. Coins are a new uh, currency added by allowing players to trade with shops using either these coins or standard items. Na, 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 na. Yeah, that's. Shop wrench, toolbox. Okay, so. We have the same problems. <laughs> we have the exact same problem in both add ons. Uh, the coins, well. This also has some unique problems, but the coin. Coin. Oh. Coin. Set the coins. Uh, you can't use them for out. Uh, like, they're easier to get than in the other. So, well, I, yeah, this these coins have multiple problems. So, firstly, uh, compared to Economy Plus, Economy Plus had a ton of notes, but the problem with those is that they were a bit uh, of a pain to get, because I think you could only get them from, like, a wandering... 
merchant or whatever. So there was like, um, there was like, not really easy to get, but they're gonna add like a job block to it at job blocks so to let you get to them uh, more easier, easily. Um, well, then you also have the fact that the, that the crafting recipe is so cheap. Like, that's four gold in it's four gold nuggets and an emerald for two gold coin two, for two coins. Now, this is annoying because this, this is such little value that if you were to use these coins in a shop, it like, hold on, let me, so I have like a bunch of like different items, uh, noted down, uh, and like their, va their value, roughly like, I, it hasn't been updated since in a while, but it's roughly true, uh, roughly about like, so let's see, let's see, uh, emeralds. M L L D Emerald M O L D Do I have the price for emeralds? I said emeralds two diamonds per stack. Okay, so that does basically mean that just for the emerald value here it is Basically, one diamond per stack of coins, not including the gold. The gold probably won't make much difference. But yeah, so you need fit. Wait, no. No, wait, no. Yeah, so if you have one stack of emeralds, then you get two stacks of them, and it's two diamonds per stack. So that's one. So that's one diamond per stack. And then you'd have four, and then you'd have four stacks of gold. Let's see, gold. Gold. Uh, gold ore is three diamonds for this type of Gold block is one diamond for 16. So 16 times nine. That's 144 gold per diamond. So that's more than two. So if I divide that by 64, that's two and a quarter stacks per diamond. So that's basically half a diamond. And then the nuggets aren't even worth factoring in because they're a ninth of a gold ingot. So they're not even, so, but yeah, so that's, but let's just do it for some fun. So that's one and a half diamond and then divide that by nine. Is, so that's 0 0.25 diamonds per stack. I think it's a four, so like four stacks for, no, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so basically each co each stack of coins is worth about one and a half diamonds. So it's a bit of a, that's a, okay, so it's not as low value as I thought it was, to be fair. Um, but the problem with it is that now you have one and a half diamond, you basically have one and a half diamonds worth. So, uh, if you were, so you, it makes things a bit funny with prices and you have basically have to like, uh, do some like funny stuff because we you because stuff is usually valued in like one, like by like one diamond. So again, so what, and then once you, once you've cut these into these, then what you can trade them with your friends, but again, the NFT thing, their only, their only real value is the value that other people are willing to pay for them. And if 
other people are like, well, actually, no, I don't want these coins anymore. I want actually actual real diamonds. Then they're, then they're worthless. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's the problem with the coins. And also, so what I would have, what I would have done is I would have had different tiers of coins. So, you'd have, so I'd have a, like a, a coin press. So, just like a machine that uh, presses stuff into coins. And then uh, you'd have like different coins. So, you'd have like iron, you'd have iron coins. So, that like copper coins, iron coins, gold coins, and diamond coins. And basically, you'd need like one of each uh, for, so like one in, so maybe like one ingot of each, and then you get one or one. So, you like go into it, you put like a, co a ingot in, and then it comes, and then like after a little bit of time, it'll like press it into a coin, and then, uh, yeah. And then uh, that's how you get them. And then you could take those coins and it'd be like, maybe you could add in like a wandering merchant uh, that uh, when he appears, uh, he'll uh, trade you like stuff for those coins. And like maybe some like really good stuff. So like uh, a never staff, like, uh, like nine diamond coins or something. I don't, uh, I don't know. I'm just saying that off the top of my head. Right now, that price off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, there, there needs to be like a direct conversion between the coins and actual, uh, you know, tangible goods like di like you know, never stars, diamonds, and stuff like that. Otherwise, these again, these are just as valuable as NFTs. So yeah. Also, if you remove a shop of stock in it, you don't get the stock back. So, yeah, you have to be careful of that. So, which one would I recommend the most? Uh, Economy Plus or this one? So, as they are right now, I'd say that it's just really a matter of... Uh, uh, aesthetics. Do you like the aesthetics of Economy Plus better, or the the aesthetics of the this one better? Uh, but when it comes to future functionality, I know that Economy Plus uh, is gonna add, uh, you know, m uh, you know, more, uh, a lot more stuff. And I don't know. And I assume this will be updated, but I don't know what exactly what's going to be added later so i can't really say for in the future so right right now because i know economy plus it, they are currently working on again uh if you die you lose money and that there's a whole like wallet system with that so like if you have a wallet uh so if you if you die with like money in your account you lose uh that money's just gone but if you die with but if you have your money in a wallet and you have that wallet on you and you die then you just drop some of your money and you can go back and get that money. Uh, I, I, I believe that's how it's going to work. At least that's my interpretation from what they've uh, stated publicly. Um, and I do know they're, all, they're also working on like adding job blocks to get the, uh, so you can get cash uh, easier. And, and also the cash, it, it is um, the, the whole like cash system for their, there is also entirely separate from uh, anything really vanilla. So, it, um, so if you have like an add-on that makes it like way easier to like get emeralds and gold and stuff, like the ore processing add-on, like you could like get a ton of emeralds and gold from that, and that, so and that that would basically devalue all of the, the coins in this add-on, the coin in this add-on. Um, but, uh, with the, uh, with Economy Plus, the, again, acquiring them is separate uh, from, you know, you don't just craft them, you actually have to do all the things to get them set, and they're, they're making them more limited in quantity, making them more inherently valuable. Um, 
And it, it means that other app, you don't have to worry about balancing your prices with like what other add-ons are on your world because, uh, because presumably you're going to be using this on the realm. Uh, so that means that, uh, uh, that's easier for the end user. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I got, so yeah, like I said, right now there's, it's just the aesthetic differences, but in the future, I do know Economy Plus has a lot of plans. And because Economy Plus did come out first, they got, um, you know, they've been working on it for longer. It means those updates are going to come out sooner than any updates to this add on. Which honestly puts this add on in a bit of a disadvantage. And I kind of feel bad for them because it's not been long since Economy Plus came out. So this, they probably got done making this, uh, like shortly after Economy Plus came out. And they probably was like, oh, Economy Plus came out. And it's basically the same thing as what we're working on, but we're too, we're too fat. We're too deep in. We're, let's just finish it up, get it out. And then maybe people will buy it. Maybe people won't buy it. Um, but I think they, I think they were just like too deep in by the time Economy Plus came out to really just like throw it out because they probably would have lost way more money than if they just finished it and released it and then hopefully people play. But who knows? Maybe one day they'll, this will actually be better than Economy Plus or maybe that uh, they'll add something I can't, I haven't even fathomed yet that'll um, make it like a companion thing. Well, yeah. But, and because both of them can use other add ons items, uh, in their shops, there's no reason why you couldn't use both of them at the same time. It's just if you want to pay for pay for both of them, uh, and uh, so yeah. Um, so they could be used in tandem. Uh, so you could have the like the best of both worlds, but yeah, uh, it, it is cool though. It you know like it. The, I do like the models and everything, and they did, and they, and, and they, I can clearly see they put a lot of work into this. This is, it wasn't half assed. Um, but yeah, uh, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Hope you found it informative and helpful, and bye bye.